Morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician and peptide doc. Good morning. Hope everyone, everyone is having a great week. I'm just finishing up my series on melanotan. I've been doing my peptide series talking about various peptides that uh, we all utilize in practice. And uh, shout out to the IPS Society and Dr. Seeds and, uh, and crew because I've got a lot of the information from the uh, courses I've taken with them, certifications, etc. So uh, I did a two-part, uh, first two parts on melanotan. I'm just kind of wrapping it up today. It's a great peptide. We talked about a lot of the benefits it had. The last couple of quick things I want to talk about it is its benefit with uh, ischemic diseases like cardiovascular disease, any, any kind of endothelial dysfunction, neurodegenerative disorders, things, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, things of this nature, and opiate and alcohol addiction. Interestingly, sim similar to some of the other peptides, been helpful with improving the neurotransmitters in the brain, can helping with side effects and with preventing uh, withdrawal and uh, cravings, etc. So basically helping improve uh, and prevent uh, relapse and helping improve uh, addiction. Uh, interesting uh, how it's been helpful in that regard as well. So, um, and then one of the biggest ones I want to talk about, once again, I mentioned this on the last one, but I really want to harp on is the cholinergic pathway, that parasympathetic tone. Massively important. So the people that are out there, again, it's for, you know, in terms of uh, it's anti-inflammatory and great for autoimmune disorders. It, it, it basically affects those MC3R and 4R uh, receptors in the brain and affects that brain uh, cholinergic pathway through the vagus nerve connects basically the brain to the gut and other parts of the body. It really helps with that brain immune axis, which we're learning more about how connected our brain and our immune system is, as well as to the gut, uh, which is also with the importance of the microbiome, which we'll talk about later. But again, neuroprotective and cardioprotective as well. All these things basically improve your cholinergic tone, increase parasympathetic tone, which balances you out, as we talked about before. We want to balance between anabolism and catabolism you know, uh, stress and de-stress, we want to balance between the cholinergic, the parasympathetic, and the sympathetic rest versus go kind of thing, right? So too many of us are amped up, we're in a hyper, hyper sympathetic state, so this is important to kind of, kind of calm things down, especially when you're not training, you're not working, you want to be relaxed, you want to balance that out. Too much of us are jacked up the other way, our sympathetic tone is too high, and it's affecting our blood pressure, our stress, our immune system, our gut, our cortisol levels, all these things and are affecting all these other symptoms, so a lot of people if you're one of the people, I'm doing everything right, why am I not losing weight? Why am I not feeling better? Why am I not sleeping? Well, that's, that might be one of the reasons. You might be too overstimulated, too overtrained, too uh, underslept, underslept, if that's a word, you know, et cetera. So this is another great way to kind of damp, tamp down, uh, you know, t that immune system and boost up that cholinergic pathway. A lot of people benefit from mindfulness, meditation, yoga, tai chi, but you know, if you're one of those people like, I can't do it, like, you know, I just can't calm my brain down. I can't sleep at night, my brain's always going. This is a great thing for you, you know, it, it'll help calm that down and improve that cholinergic system and help facilitate that process. So just another tool uh, to view. Sometimes it just takes practice to get these things done, but this is another tool that can really help with that cholinergic pathway. And again, it's great for anti-inflammation, people that are over-inflamed for whatever reason, like we talked about in the last video, autoimmune disorders and things of this nature. So dosing, of course, varies. <clears throat> again, you want to work with a qualified you know, health practitioner who knows what they're doing has been trained in this and it, because the dose does vary quite a bit. As with everything, uh, the dose determines everything. You can have too much of anything. Anything can be poisoned at the wrong dose, right? So, um, you know, for tanning in general, 200 micrograms a day for about a week or so, then you can adjust titrate downwards from there. Again, we talked about if you're, if you're going on a trip or you're someone who burns easily, want to just get a nice tan. <laughs> Obviously, that's more of an aesthetic concern, but for metabolic support, you could start as low as 50 micrograms a day and titrate from there. Uh, immune support, it can vary. Again, anywhere from 100 to 200 micrograms a day for at least six to eight weeks. Some patients will do it longer for months at a time and then slowly taper off. A lot of times we'll use this in combination with thymus and alpha to really calm down that, that immune system and help with autoimmune conditions and inflammation and slowly taper those down. BPC is a great one to add with these as well. So again, you can stack these to really maximize that inflammation anti-inflammatory response and uh, calm down that immune system. And then you can start using your other, your other protocols, your other peptides and things of this nature. So again, it varies quite a bit, but it's, it's just another tool. So that wraps up melanotan. I've been gonna continue on with other peptides in my other series. If there's anything else you wanna learn about with any of these peptides, health, nutrition, uh, metabolism, hormones, etc., please reach out to me with any questions. I want everyone to have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.